a better love, better love, a better love, better love, a better love, better love, better love. When the shadows grow long and lazy, and the trees fade from green to hazy, oh, it's his eyes I could never forget. How they shifted from caramel to honey Nearly sweet as the words that won me Oh, come the dusk, we were one silhouette Dreaming, dreaming Bag made me steady like a driftwood at ease in his eddy. We lived in a summer where time never flies. Told him that I had him too with me as his roots he could bloom. Oh, I long for a place where such love never dies. Dreaming, dreaming, yeah, dreaming, oh. Love him better, love him better, love him better, oh, oh. That was A Better Love by Sugar Nova. I'm Mackenzie live in studio with Sugar Nova. We have Luke Miller and Rachel Eisenstadt, who are both GC alum. It is great to have you back with us. So wonderful to be here. Thank you so much for having us. This is really special to be back on campus. Yes, of course. Sugar Nova have a concert tonight at 830 Ignition Music Garage. More information can be found at ignitionmusic.net.
So you both have established separate music careers, uh, Raven Jane and Lotus, but you released your debut album Halogens as a duo back in May 2023. What brought this collaboration about and what did that timeline look like? Um, I've, I've, Lotus is uh, my primary musical project and uh, that's a mostly instrumental band. So I've al always wanted to do something that was more vocally focused. And um, during the pandemic, Rachel lives near me and we had worked together on a couple of things. So we started writing some songs in the more like pop context with uh, more vocal forward. And that's kind of what launched Sugar Nova. So they both also have different sounds. So what was it like finding your sound as Sugar Nova coming from a background in indie rock or jam band? How did that, what did that process look like? I think, I mean, I think part of it was um, just sort of naturally what emerged. Um, but we did do some in, have some intention around the arrangements. Uh, when we first were writing the first album, a lot of those songs that are out now had really different forms at first. And we were sort of playing with how, like, how live instrument based do we want this to be versus electronic. And Luke has the skill set as a producer and a multi instrumentalist to really kind of reimagine each song in several different ways. So we would kind of sit with one arrangement for a while and then play with it another way. And ultimately, um, yeah, I just kind of felt like having some of the driving beats of the electronic sound just, just fit what we were both into as music fans um, and just giving us an opportunity to, to explore a new artistic side than either of us had really dove into before. Yeah, I think we, we were looking to make it... Um you know, have a lot, a lot of electronic elements and then like bring in some live instrumentation and trying to figure out that balance. Um, you know, we had some reference points of like dance music, more like down tempo stuff, disco music. And uh, we've kind of been playing with, with um, that and trying to find our own sound. And I think uh, going through the process of making the first album and now working on the second, I think we're honing in on, on really what that is. Wonderful. Well, you have one of your new singles that you want to play for us next. Darkness turns to dawn. Take it away. All right. We need a disco ball for this one. It's all a game we are playing Y'all just a pawn I keep slaying Gambit my time Disobey Take up the fight Choose black or white So we keep dancing on Till darkness turns to dawn And we keep dancing on Oh, oh, oh. 
the threat we're surviving Oh, oh, oh The storm clouds are rolling Oh, oh, oh Our energy is glowing So Darkness turns to dawn on 91.1 The Globe. I'm Mackenzie live in studio with Sugar Nova. You have uh, been releasing this series of singles over the summer, including Dark Darkness Turns to Dawn, Cool Me Down, and A Better Love. What can you tell me about these singles? Um, well, Darkness Turns to Dawn was really fun because we collaborated with a few other musicians on it. Um, so uh, we had Garrett Sayers from the Motet who threw down the bass for that, um, just like made it super funky. Um, and then uh, a couple singers in Denver, uh, Daniel Levon and Ronnie Zagoria, who uh, both have um, you know a lot of great music in their own right, uh, joined us with, on the backing vocals. So it's just really fun to collaborate with them on it. Yeah, and cool me down. We got um, the legend uh, G Love uh, to do some guest vocals, which was awesome. You know, maybe both Rachel and I listened to him, especially in college here at Goshen. So it was really cool to get uh, G Love, aka Garrett, Garrett Dutton, on that track. So many Garretts. <laughs> yes, and you, uh, I mean, mentioned earlier a second album. Like these leaders, singles are leading to the next album. What can you tell us about that? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we we're definitely leaning into our disco side for sure. Um, I would say we have a handful of tracks that lean more house. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Luke, Luke's uh, better at describing in fine detail <laughs> the subgenres, but in my mind, it's kind of like half disco, half house for the most part. Yeah, and, and one thing we wanted to do, like like we talked about on these previous tracks, was bring in more collaborators, more... Um, more singers to get kind of a thicker um, vocal sound, um, different instrumentalists and stuff. So I've been reaching out and uh, working with people. We got <coughs> another, he didn't go to Goshen, but he's from the Goshen area, Ruben Gingrich from the band The Main Squeeze, and, and we collaborated with The Main Squeeze on a track that's coming out in December, so that'll be really fun. Yeah, and fun fact about Ruben, when I was in college and he was in high school, we used to play some gigs together, and I remember uh, playing like a fundraiser for the Goshen Library <laughs> together. Now he's in Main Squeeze. That's wonderful. Well, Sugar Nova have a show tonight at Ignition Music Garage, 8.30. More information at ignitionmusic.net. You have another song you're going to play for us, Tiny Helicopters. Is there anything you want to say about this? Uh, yeah, this, oh, excuse me, I turned my vocal effects back on too fast. <laughs> uh, Tiny Helicopters is from our first album, Halogen. Um, and yeah, it's, a, I guess, a little more emotional <laughs> than some of our more like disco dance stuff, so. Wonderful, well, whenever you're ready. Oh. 
shadows pull like a comb through grass Spin and spiral the sunlight Ooh Ooh Close your eyes Put your palm to mine I know what you know about brokenness your palm to mine powder gold melts into the crest between us oh treasure chest of broken wings that I call let dead Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. there's a certain luminescence staring down at my transgressions Ooh. your palm to mine I know what you know about brokenness close your eyes put your palm to mine powder gold melts into the crest between One day when we pick up where we left off and all the jagged wounded edges will begin to soften Put your palm to mine You'll know what I know about brokenness You close your eyes Put your palm to mine Powder gold melts into the crisp between us Sugar Nova with tiny helicopters on 91.1 The Globe. I'm Mackenzie here live in studio with Sugar Nova. You got the chance to headline Float Fest over the summer. What was that experience like for you? 
That was so awesome. I mean, I overlapped with Scott Lehman at Goshen, um, uh, and he was in the music department too. So um, to see what he has put together, and yeah, I just, I mean, it was an incredible experience. The festival was such a cool concept, just seeing everybody out like in their costumes, on their rafts, on their canoes, their like party lights. Um, and then we got to be out on this um, floating stage on the mill race. <laughs> I do remember um, we loaded all our gear out to do sound check and stuff. I was like, all right, I'm gonna like get out there and then we're gonna ferry back to shore and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna ferry back and we're gonna do the show. <laughs> and we got out there and they were like, no, that's it, you're out there. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really cool experience. Yeah, I've been in the music industry for 20 plus years. I've, you know, played on cruise ships, on little boats in Japan, on the side of a mountain. But uh, this is the, my first pontoon, so uh, it was a very cool and unique experience. Yes, wonderful. Well, I want to go back to talking about your sound. What specific influences have you had in curating this sound? Um, a big influence for me is Little Dragon. I don't know if you listen to them very much. Um, together we've been listening to a lot of jungle. Um, I think we both get pretty into justice. Um, yeah, what else comes to mind? Uh, from the disco side, uh, groups like Frank Moody. Um, from the electronic side, uh, producers like Rufus Soul, Bob Moses. Um, uh, yeah, and then just um, kind of bringing in other influences from non-electronic areas. Um, Rachel has a background in singing wedding groups and bringing in some of that classic rock influence and, and some of that modern pop influence, Dua Lipa, Billie Eilish, that kind of stuff. And this goes right into your last song. It's a cover of a My Morning Jacket song, Touch Me, I'm Going to Scream, Part 2. Is there anything else you want to say about that? Yeah, did you already mention that's a My Morning Jacket song? Yes, yeah, um, yeah. And uh, yeah, one of Luke's friends, I think, was agitating for like, my understanding is years that he would cover this song. Am I right about that? Yeah, a friend has suggested it, and uh, we tried doing a, uh, putting our own spin on the sound, and um, it's it's a really fun one to play and kind of put, a, you know, a fem feminine perspective on the song and um, kind of our, our our vibe on it. Wonderful. Well, Rachel, Luke, thank you again for coming in. Sugar Nova have a concert at Ignition tonight, 830. More information at ignitionmusic.net. This is Touch Me, I'm Gonna Scream Part 2 by Sugar Nova, live on 91.1 The Globe. If you touch me, well, I just think I'll scream. Cause it's been so long since someone challenged me. Made me think about the way things are. Made me think about the way could be
smiling too And I see myself in you Don't you ever tell